Once upon a time, there was a review of Fairy Tale Flux by How Lou Sees It. And to make a long story short, the game was fabulous. This is a great game for those who like Flux. Uh, there are multiple variations of Flux out there, if you're not already aware of that. Uh, and this is just one of those many variations. Uh, it is a very well-established game, and there's been multiple theming from zombies to uh, fairy tales. And this version, uh, I actually think, is one of the best versions uh, for playing with kids. For, I think, obvious reasons. Uh, and also for grandmothers and grandparents. <laughs> and I say that just because, you know, growing up, uh, my I remember my mom having many different calendars, yearly calendars that she had on the wall uh, that were uh, illustrated uh, by Mary Engelbright. And the artwork uh, is, is awesome in this, but it's also just the theming, right? The fairy tale theming uh, works really well uh, with playing with kids, everyone's, uh, and playing with anyone really. Just they're very familiar concepts, whereas a lot of the other themes for Flux, such as zombies and all these other things, uh, you you know, if you're playing with a group of people, um, you may not have everyone who has that same interest and they may not fully get kind of the theme of it. And so I think this is a, a safe theme, but I think it's a really good, really well done one. Uh, it comes across well uh, in the cards and the illustrations are just great. So I just wanted to show you a few of the cards. Basically, everyone should know, I'm uh, kind of assuming you know the kind of main concept of flex, but it's you start with a draw a card, play a card rules, and then the game changes throughout uh, the different goals of how to win the game, as well as uh, different rules that impact the game and actions that you can play to impact collections of cards, and uh, et cetera. So I just wanted to show you a few of these. Uh, you know, we have happily ever after, of course, meaning that you have the prince and the princess together. Uh, kiss me princess so the princess and the frog and if you have these keeper cards these certain cards in front of you and the goal of the game is currently uh, that goal then you win the game and so it's constantly in a changing uh, you know state of flux so there's multiple different ones here we have magic beings greatest treasures and I just want to show you some of these for that again uh, very iconic artwork from Mary Engelbright. And there's just the, the multiple different concepts here. So I've sorted these out. You can see this is quite the large stack of uh, goal cards. Uh, so there's a huge chunk of these um, and incorporating all the different uh, characters, uh, keeper cards in this game. So there's some of those and then I can show you some of the keeper cards, which is again, going to be that same artwork uh, just a little bit closer up here. Um, but really, really great artwork and the theming of it, I think works really well. And so if you like Flux or are even new to Flux and looking for something for your kids to play, again, a lot of kids games, I think are like this too, where uh, there's a lot of luck involved and there's a lot of just things, but it's simple, but it's fun, right? The kids like to change the rules of how the game's played and they like to change how you know what the goal is and it's uh, a very uh, fun experience I think for the kids uh, you know the other aspect of it is uh, the length of the game so this the game all flux games have kind of this large variation right the game could happen pretty quickly depending on what goals come up and what keeper cards etc or it could kind of last uh, a long time. So that's just something to keep in mind. But some of the uh, my favorite action cards here I pulled to the, the top here that again, there's some that are very similar feeling throughout all the flex games, but your wish is granted. I think is a fun one. Uh, you get to choose one of these different things to do. Three different uh, options there. 
Uh, there's a Robin Hood taking a card from whoever has, you know, the most keepers and give it to whoever has the least. Uh, I think that's one of the best themed action cards in the game. Uh, Grand Ball as well. You're going to shuffle up, get all the keepers. They go to a Grand Ball and then you're going to shuffle them up and randomly deal them out. Um, so lots of different cards to manipulate, uh, keepers, goals, and uh, people's hands, um, you know, cards in their hand, etc. Uh, and then some of the rules, so they, they have a lot of the, again, same things where you're going to change how many you draw, how many you play, etc. But I wanted to show you some of the more thematic ones. Uh, so we have a magic spell as a free action. If you have the witch, wizard, fairy, uh, or genie in play, you get to take the top card from the draw pile and play it immediately. Uh, so that's kind of fun because it interacts with the uh, magic uh, related characters, uh, the keeper cards, which I think is good. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of the ones that affect the goal cards um, because again, I think one thing that lets the game kind of draw out at times is, is changing of the goal cards. And so I'm a big fan of anything that can kind of help with that. Uh, so the double agenda I like because it allows uh, two goals to be going on at once. And if someone meets one of them, they win. Um, there's also the new rule. Uh, and so the, this new rule here uh, for goal mill, sorry, not new rule. They're all, these are all new rules. Uh, the goal mill uh, as a free action. So if you are working on a goal, but your hand is just chock full of these goals, which in this game, there's just seems to be a lot of lot of goals, right? And so we have a lot of goals. Well, if your hand is full of those, I like this because it allows you to discard those and then draw back uh, into your hand that many. Uh, so those are the different cards that I liked from this version, uh, as well as of course the the great artwork um, by Mary Inglebright uh, makes this a great version of Flux. Uh, for all ages and uh, I've really enjoyed it and that's how Lou sees it.